Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a new series of videos, Three Minute Medicine. Let me teach you everything you need to know about anemia in three minutes. I'm a general internist. I work in Toronto and Sault Ste. Marie. So when I think about anemia, my approach is one that you'll see very commonly, and it's all based on how big are the red blood cells. So if the cells are small, we call that microcytic, and the mnemonic is TAILS. So the causes include thalassemia, anemia of chronic disease, iron deficiency, lead poisoning, and sideroblastic anemia. Uh, thalassemia, you can consider this, especially in a younger patient, uh, and their MCV has always been low, and you haven't found another cause for it. Anemia of chronic disease, remember, you have to have a chronic disease, and usually it's a pretty inflammatory disease. So a chronic infection causes a lot of inflammation, um, something like inflammatory bowel disease or rheumatoid arthritis, and then cancer, because we know that cancer leads to a lot of inflammation. And next up, iron deficiency. So it's really important to consider this in older adults or young women who are microcytic. The best test to order is a ferritin. I'll explain why shortly. And then lead poisoning and sideroblastic, those are so rare, we're not going to say anything more about them. The big pearl here, order a ferritin. If it's less than 30, they definitely have iron deficiency. If it's a young woman, you should ask about heavy vaginal bleeding because that is a number one cause. In older adults, the most common cause is cancer. Now, let's contrast microcytic anemia with macrocytic anemia. The cells are too big. Uh, the mnemonic I came up with is macro. Uh, M stands for meds, and if you delete the E, MDS. A stands for alcohol, C stands for cirrhosis, R stands for reticulocytosis, and O stands for folate or B12 deficiency. So clinically, the two most common causes that I see is either a medication that they're on that's causing macrocytosis like septra or methotrexate or alcohol use. For a patient who's older and there's no clear cause whatsoever, think MDS. But the really important pearl is take a close review of their medications and also ask them about alcohol use. And finally, we have normocytic anemia. The best way to approach this is order a reticulocyte count. If the reticulocyte count is high, the most common causes are bleeding or hemolysis. If the reticulocyte count is low or inappropriately normal, I think renal failure, uh, bone marrow failure, such as bone mets, uh, acute illness, uh, or chronic disease. And the higher level teaching point is that you can also have two processes going on. So you could have somebody with an alcohol use disorder that also has a nutritional deficiency like B12 or iron. So they have two processes going on and overall their MCV is normal. That's a hard one um, to diagnose, but important to consider. I hope this has been helpful. The summary points, microcytic, think tails, macrocytic, think macro, and normocytic, order reticulocyte count. Uh, thanks so much to Natasha Verhoef for producing this video. Have a great day.